I changed. Venice helped me change. And in that time, Venice changed too. <laughs> when I first got here, you couldn't walk down sunset and forth after, ironically, no sunset. No way you could go up to California and seven, Broadway, no. There were gunshots every day. You were risking your life just by sitting in your own living room. Then it started to change. An old ramshackle craftsman would come down and in its place they put up an architectural marvel. That block would get a little bit safer. Then they'd do another one. They'd open up a new store. Another store. A restaurant. Oscar, I was open at the U opened your restaurant. How long ago was that? Almost eight years. How many people you got working for you now, Oscar? Oh, including me, uh, 16 and my son. So 17, because he counts, right? <laughs> we all count. 17 people. Wow. 17 people who pay their rent, pay their mortgages, who spend their money right here in Venice, all because Oscar had this preposterous idea to open a restaurant. Look, I, I, I'm not one to usually make a stand. Shit, I make stools for Christ's sake. <laughs> but I came here today because I love Venice just as much as you do. This is a new beginning. A new chapter for us. A chance for us to not forget our past, but to, to build on it. So we can look forward to a shared future together. So I say to you all today, yeah, Let's save Venice. Let's look at this regeneration project as a gift that we didn't even know we were getting. Let's welcome these people into our community, much the same way we were welcomed ourselves. Let's do it. Let's save Venice.